So what were the what were the highlights of Naples for you? Our beloved Naples, Philippa. Oh, bella Napoli. <laughs> Una bella città. <laughs> e molto interessante. Oh, saldi, saldi, saldi. Uh, mm. Window shopping. Molte persone gentile, simpatico. Now you're showing off. <laughs> Anche Pompei, Erculano, mm. e un, uh, our guide, Antonio. Antonio, he was fantastic. Yeah. It was worth getting a guide in Pompei, wasn't ah, it? Ah, si. see. His knowledge as a local, and he'd been a guide there 40 years. That's right. 72. He could explain everything and he showed us even where the brothel was. But apart from that, he actually showed us how the columns were made in a mm. circular fashion. I think I could build one now. Open market in Apula, Rajasis Palace. That's why when there's something that's happening, in the colonnade, behind the colonnade, a podium, where the judges to see the administration of justice, tribunal or a tribunal, and at the same time, yeah. What? what were you just what? saying? Well, Antonio was saying it was unseasonably cold that, um, that month. Year. Yeah, very cold winter, and it was it was fantastic seeing the snow on the mountains around Vesuvius. Yeah, that was brilliant. Our guide, Antonio, I mean, he was just a fountain of knowledge. I mean, you can only get that kind of knowledge and insider information. When From the locals. Yeah. Yeah, he was great. We're just about to walk down to the bayside to have a look, but we might have lunch here in this rather large square. No idea what I'm photographing, but a lot of it is you, I think. Oh, is it? I just went round. This is um, San Domenico Maggiore. We've just seen the San Severo sculptures and we're having a drink at this lovely place in the sun. I really have no idea what I'm photographing. Because I'm the sun. These street musicians were fantastic. A bit of a mix of Neapolitan and Gypsy. And music. so much energy. Oh, yeah. I think they were students when they mm, were in Yeah, students. from the conservatory.
Have a look at all these shops. Weren't they amazing? Oh, they're fantastic. You're just such a cornucopia of different incredible things from past and, you know, contemporary yeah. artists. And that was just around the corner from where we were staying. What was it called? Spackanapoli? Spackanapoli. We were right in the middle of yeah. Naples. We so lucky. The best way to explore Naples is simply just to walk around the streets and you're surprised at what you see. We were only there for three nights and tried to pack things in, but we managed to get in a walk to the waterfront. The Archaeological Museum of Naples holds a lot of the treasures that have been taken from Pompeii and Ecolano, and lucky for us they've been preserved, and lucky for everyone. It was really fantastic travelling with a friend and one who could speak the language so well, which got us along just famously with the locals.